Hey, today for the surfboard guide, I'll be doing a review of the Black Vulture by Chili Surfboards. The Black Vulture I've been riding is a stock 5.9 Black Vulture, which comes in at 5.9, 19 3 quarters, 2 and 7 16 and is exactly 30 litres on the dial. Um, this was stock off the shelf, uh, wasn't custom or anything, nothing's been um, messed around with, so it's the same thing you'd find in the sh off the shelf in any shop if you went to look at a Black Vulture. Um, having a look at the Black Vulture, it is a pretty um, flat shape. There's a little bit of lift through the nose, but not too much. The bottom of the board is pretty flat, and I don't know if you've seen some of the posts that I've put up on our Instagram and whatnot, this thing generates a lot of speed very, very easily, and that is because it is quite flat, especially through the back end of the board. It has a really nice single concave that comes through the board, and then, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but there's a light V that comes through the fins and off the tail, which helps just give it a really nice kind of rail-to-rail -rail transition. Um, so, I've been surfing the Black Vulture now for a few months, uh, in some local kind of conditions when the waves are probably pretty average, uh, like a lot of rip bowls and shore breaks and stuff like that. And I actually recently took uh, a trip to Sri Lanka. Don't know if anyone's been there. Kind of mixed kind of waves, pretty fun, not a lot of push. But I actually surfed the Black Vault for the majority of the time that I was over there. And the thing was amazing. A lot of the places we surfed were pretty gutless, some kind of right points, some different kind of reefs and that. Um, it was the wrong time of year for Aragon Bay and whatnot, so we're down in um, the southeast of Sri Lanka. But yeah, this thing was mental. And a few days we actually had some waves in kind of three, four foot overhead range and like a punchy kind of reef. It was lots, lots of fun. I actually wish I had a performance short ball with me. But this thing was fine. It actually held its own probably a bit better than I thought it was, thought it would. Um, the place we were surfing had a bit of a barrel. It was a reef break. It was kind of a, a reeling long kind of right of a short left. And I, I wasn't sure... You know, I kind of think about what I had at home, what would have been better, but this thing was perfect. It actually went really, really well in those waves, um, especially considering it was something I thought was for like kind of one, two foot kind of shories and kind of average little summary waves. So um, in the Black Vulture, I've been riding it predominantly as a, I guess you call it a two plus one setup. So these are the Future Fins T1. Um, it's a twin fin setup and there's a stabilizer. So I've tried a few different setups in the Black Vulture. Uh, I've tried the AM2s, which is what I try on everything, and it felt okay. Uh, I also tried the AM2 Texflex as a quad set. Uh, again, it felt okay, it didn't feel that great, but this felt just perfect. So I don't know if people generally ride this as a two plus one, um, if that's what you want to call it, a twin plus stabilizer. But um, it felt mental, it felt uh, loose when you wanted it to be, but it also had the hold and um, what not to not be too loose, like sometimes some twinnies can. Uh, it felt just right. Um, overall, the Black Vulture, I think, is a board for almost anyone. Someone wants a, a really fun board that's very forgiving for maybe average kind of summer waves. Uh, again, like I said, when waves do get a little bit better, it can hold its own. It's not out of its place in kind of the three to four foot range. I think that's probably where it maxes out. Um, and it's probably for uh, anyone, I think, anyone from a beginner to a, um, an advanced surfer, I think a beginner would enjoy the forgiveness of the board. Really nice soft rails that are very forgiving through turns and whatnot. Um, and a lot of, a lot of thick uh, volume under your chest, really easy to paddle and it catches a lot of waves very easily. So it's really good, I think, for a beginner. Uh, and for an advanced surfer, someone that wants something they can throw around and really light up, you know, the summer kind of shories and rip bowls and pretty average conditions, uh, the Black Vulture does that all. I've actually put up some clips on our Instagram if you want to check them out. There's some water footage we got. And you'll see, uh, it's not great surfing and the waves are pretty average, but it actually shows how quickly the Black Vulture gets up and go and produces speed out of almost nothing. I hope you've uh, enjoyed our review today of the Black Vulture by Chili Surfboards and hope you get a chance to check one out. It's a really fun board that makes surfing pretty average waves a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could hit like, uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. Um, beyond what we're doing here on YouTube, we also have an Instagram account, which we're keeping pretty active with. You'll find it on Instagram at The Surfboard Guide. And on there, we'll be posting stuff about boards we have, immediate stuff about our experiences with them. We'll also have a chance to maybe connect with other people that have an experience with boards that you may be interested in. Thanks so much for watching.